Hey, Mathletes, welcome back. We are looking at another construction here in Delta Math. We are looking at copying an angle with a compass and a straight edge. So remember, our compass makes circles, our straight edge makes straight lines. So we, what we want to do is we want to copy an angle. So that one's pretty straightforward. We don't really have to dig into exactly what that's going to look like. So what they're going to do is they're going to give us an angle. So they give us this angle P. And what we need to do is create an angle that's the same size. Now, it doesn't have to be going the same direction, uh, but it does need to be the same size uh, as this angle P. And we're going to put it down here at P prime. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put one of the sides of the angles down. Since they don't have to be going the same direction, we know that each angle is going to have two sides. So I can put the first one anywhere, and just so long the second one is in the right spot, we're going to be good to go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ray, okay? Notice that the final sentence there says it should be two blue rays, and I'm not going to put it quite in the same direction as my original angle, so you can see how this is going to work, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my compass, and I'm going to start on this first original angle, and I'm going to stretch it out, I don't know, maybe to here, okay? It should cross both, uh, both of your rays in this, in this angle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my arc marks, okay? And I'm going to draw one here, and I'm going to draw one here, okay? So I'm kind of measuring a certain distance out in each direction on my rays, okay? Now, if you wanted to, again, you could, you could make that all one arc. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my compass without changing the size, and I'm going to put it down here on this P prime. And what I'm going to do is I know I want to cross this side right here, just like the other one, but I don't know where my second ray is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this arc pretty far out. So somewhere on that arc, I should end up crossing my second ray. Okay, I'm not really sure where, but we'll figure that out here in a second. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up my compass. I'm going to put it on one of the two points. I could put it on either one. I'm going to put it on this one down here. And I do need to change the size of the compass. I need to change the size of the compass to this point right here, the other intersection point. Now what this is doing is basically measuring the distance. So you measure the distance out from the vertex. How far out are we? And then we're going to measure the distance between those two crossing points and do the same thing down here. So. Um, you can make a mark here if you want to. You really don't need to. This is more about getting the right distance. And I'm going to pick this up and put this on my intersection point. Okay? Now you might say, well, wait a second. That point, it's not on this arc. Well, it's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to draw this arc like this and notice I get a crossing point. Okay? Now, again, remember, I'm using two blue rays. So here's my ray. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to put it right here. Okay? And yes, it does have really long rays, but that's okay. Okay, the whole point here isn't necessarily that the rays are the same length, it's that this is open the same length. So if we check, let's just look, these do look to be about, both are a little bit bigger than 90 degrees. We should visually check our answers before we submit them. So let's check and see if this works as a solution. Yeah, it looks great. So those are the steps we're going to follow if we want to copy an angle with a compass and a straight edge.